So on a previous video, we took a look at this third gen Toyota Tacoma key fob replacing the battery and how it would start the truck even without a battery in it. But recently, a viewer named Ryan asked a question about the spring on the side of the key fob. So let's take a look at this today. I have never had an issue with mine, but I believe he said his spring fell out when he was taking his apart and didn't know how it went back together. And as we look here, it is definitely uh, connected well, at least on mine, it's connected very well. It looks like we have a little washer on here that's capturing the spring. It's probably ultrasonically uh, welded on the end to keep the, uh, the little washer on there as a capture. So just so you see here, it should stay captured. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pry mine off to show what yours may look like apart. So here we go. Got my spring and did capture the washer here. This button, see if it, yeah, it wants to pry off. Rotate it just a bit there and it'll pop up. So it goes just like this and slides right back on like so. And then we'll take our spring and it's going to be the long side to my left. So the longest part of the spring will be to my left or towards the buttons. I'm just going to hold it down my thumb until I yep, get both ends of the spring back in place like so. And that feels good. Now the trick is picking this little tiny washer up. Even my tweezers don't want to get it, so I'm going to grab some tape, and we'll use the tape to pick it up, along with some pocket lint that come out of my key fob. We'll take this little bitty washer and see if it'll stay back in place here. So let's see if we can push it on there and see if it'll stay. Yep, I believe that'll stay. It took a little bit of force to get it to pop back on. Now, if this had not stayed, I would have taken my soldering iron and just barely touched it. And it just would have mushroomed the end of it to keep it on there as a capture. But I believe this is going to be fine. I'm going to put the uh, rubber shield back in place. And put the hash back together here and snap it back. And that feels good. Let's see if it'll latch. And there we go. So that's all it is to the little push button and spring on the Tacoma key fob. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to have some links down in the video description of some tools and interesting items that I find very helpful on my workbench. Any of those links are affiliate links. So any of them that you click on help support the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. So thanks so much for watching, and God bless.